Hi, my name is Gregory and this is Code for Fun Python and Drones course. We are uh, now on lesson three. Lesson three uh, is all about using drones in construction. Uh, drones are used in construction nowadays all across Australia and our lesson scenario is the following. Imagine we had uh, some kind of uh, very strong wind uh, which damaged the school roof. The school principal um, is thinking how to solve this problem and before hiring the construction team he actually wants to assess how much is the damage, how big is the damage. Uh, this by itself is a big task because well he needs to hire some people who will climb on the on the old building and expect the roof uh, that's quite time-consuming and also very very expensive uh, why not using drones instead so we are going to learn how drones can be used to inspect uh, the buildings the the damage uh, down to the roofs of the buildings um, and we are going to use this uh, little funny uh, little funny pictures uh, which we will stick to the whiteboard uh, now imagine this is our roof, which we are going to expect, and we are going to put uh, these little papers uh, somewhere, and some funny things like an uh, old boot uh, for students to inspect, and then we will turn this whiteboard around like this. So you don't really know what is going on there. Uh, the student's task would be to program a drone to fly, to fly around this wall and use a video camera to video stream uh, everything which is there and inspect what images they can actually see, what damage to the roof was done by the hurricane. Let's see how we can program it using Python. For this lesson, the very first task which we are going to test is to actually activate our video camera and see how this front-facing video camera can broadcast the video stream on our computer screen um, using Python code. Uh, we will write a very short program which just activates the video. The drone will not even fly. We are going to just hold it with our hands uh, just to see how video streaming works. We will start by importing our Tello library. We will also import the time library that will allow our program to pause for a moment. We will run the start function. To turn the drone's video on, we will use start underscore video. We will then wait 30 seconds with time.sleep30. Then we will stop the video with stop underscore video. I will run our program. And I will show you uh, the window on my computer screen, which now broadcasts the video stream. I can now take the drone. There is a little bit of a delay initially, maybe one second, but then you can see the video is basically streaming. Now this is Sean, our uh, colleague, which makes this video with us. Uh, now you can see myself over here. Now we will probably uh, put the computer like this. And then I will just uh, use the drone, simulate it's flying. And so let's say this is our roof. So we're going to come closer and see what can we actually see on our roof if there is some damage, the broken pipe, uh, the water drainage, and the tile. Uh, and uh, that would be our lesson scenario. We will turn our whiteboard around and our task would be to fly the drone all around like this and program it to find what damage what damage has been done to our roof. Let's see how this is going to work. We will start by removing the 30 second delay. We will then launch the drone with takeoff and move it 40 centimeters up to our first row with the up command. We want to move our drone right seven times. To loop the code, we type 4i in range 7, followed by a colon. Then on an indented line, we will pause for one second and then move right 30 centimeters. 
finally we will land. Make sure you didn't the land command so that it properly matches up to the left side of our program. Now, once we put uh, these little images on our roof, let's test our drone. Our drone will take off, uh, fly approximately to this height, and then will uh, continuously fly to the right, facing that side, making sure we can see what's going on on uh, our whiteboard. Now, let's see what our drone can see in our streaming video. All right, we see the first damage, the broken pipe. We see the second damage, another broken pipe. And the drone lands. That was the first line of our flying. Once we've done our very first flight, um, just uh, monitoring this first line, we're going to introduce students to nested loops algorithm uh, when we're going to use two loops, one loop sitting inside the other loop. In order to fly in a snake kind of pattern, we're going to fly to the right and then back up to the right, to the left, up to the right, to the left, and then all the way down. Let's see if we can actually keep track of all the damages and all the images which we have on our roof. To do a nested loop, we need to indent our loop. We can select multiple lines and press the tab key. We will use J instead of I, since I is already in use. We will loop this entire code three times, as we want to scan three rows. Then, after our inner loop, we will move left all the way back. Since we've moved right 30 centimeters seven times, we will multiply that and therefore move left 210 centimeters. Make sure the indentations align with our inner loop. Once we moved left, we will fly up 20 centimeters to the next row. The drone will go up a little bit and it will start flying to the right. Now we see our very first damage, the broken pipe. The second damage, another broken pipe. Our drone flies all the way back, goes up 20 centimeters, and performs the next line. Now we can see the bird's nest. We keep on flying. Now we can see another damage done to the roof. Good. We we'll fly all the way back. Now we're gonna go a little bit higher up. Aha, uh -huh, we've, we've, we, we see the old, old shoe. And we see another broken part, the broken tile. And now drone lands. The mission accomplished. Now, once you've done this, um, and if you have a bit of extra time during your lesson, try to run a challenge. Uh, a very good scenario for your challenge would be to now turn all these whiteboards like this, so that students cannot really see what's behind them. 
Now, after that, try to reshuffle uh, those little icons and try to program, the, try to ask students to program the drone so they fly the drone from, uh, from a distance fly the drone all the way above this area and then program the drone to fly here so that students can actually see what's behind these whiteboards. Students can discuss several topics such as what changes would we make to our code to account for different kinds of roof shapes? What if the roof is sloped? Would longer delays work better to detect cards? Where else could this technology be useful?